This is Dr. Volker Musa from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And in this video, I will show you two ways to repair a vertical split tear using an all inside device. The first method will demonstrate a traditional vertical mattress stitch, and the second will feature a series of saclage or hay bale stitches. My indications for a medial meniscus vertical split tear is essentially every young patient that presents to you acute enough. In other words, I rarely cut out the meniscus. FastFix Flex is my preferred device for repairing a vertical tear because it's available in both curved and reverse curved options. The reverse curve option actually has a reverse bevel on the needle which helps me to pierce the undersurface of the tear. And also the Flex with the Novo Cut is useful the Novo Cutter is a side loading knot pusher suture cutter. Here we have a left knee. This is your vertical split tear. So here we are at the mid body, posterior horn, mid body junction, and posterior horn. I think this is a typical tear, maybe about two and a half centimeters long. You want to freshen up the tear edges and you use the diamond rasp. Secondly, I will clean up some of these fibrinous areas that I don't want in there. Okay, I'm going to use the Stepman all, and I'm going to use this to trephinate through the capsule and create vascular access channels. Just a few of those. I don't think it can hurt. You can go on the undersurface and create a few more. You can take your all, go into the notch, make a marrow venting hole, uh, which I think will help you with healing. You can add a biologic into the tear site, such as a fibrin clot. I'm going to start the repair. I probably put somewhere between four and six sutures in there. I put my first stitch posteriorly, then I go uh, further uh, medially, then I switch portals, go in the mid body junction, and then maybe one or two further anterior. I usually end where the tear is so that there's no further tear propagation. Getting beyond the tear is a bit tricky. So therefore, I use the slider, go over to the root, slide across the meniscus, beyond and across the meniscus. I turn the slider around, it's nice and smooth. I leave that in place, deliver my fast fix right in there. and I'm already in the right position, like this, okay? Now here you need to know you're creating a 17 gauge hole. So if you go too close to the tear, it'll become a radial split. You go too far away from the tear, you'll pierce under the meniscus and you won't get any fixation. So try to go right in the middle. I can joystick the meniscus like this, so I can if I look at the tear side, I can elevate the meniscus up until the tear seems to be approximated. I can look at the undersurface, make sure I don't come through it. So I go into the tear side, I joystick and I turn my fast fix around and deliver it all the way through the capsule. Then I push down on this orange uh, button while I hold pressure and make sure that the, the T deploys posterior uh, to the capsule. Then I use the Novo cut, which I love. And uh, I advance you know, onto the knot. I take the uh, tension out of my suture, but I don't, um, I don't do anything else. Just I take the slack out and then I cut. So you don't want to over tension this. Just like that. My access will be tricky to go to the uh, periphery. We're going to slide over and then keep the slider in place. And then with my slider in place, I place my fast fix right where I want it. Then take the slider out. Advance the suture. Come out and then do the same trick on the on the central part of the meniscus. I'll go in to the meniscus. 
Then again, I joystick this up and then go into the into the capsule and, and get the T flipped. There you go. Nova cut. It's so easy to use. Okay, I'm just taking the slack out. Okay. Now you see how the undersurface of the meniscus is a bit curled up. I'll deal with that later. First, I will switch portals. All right, so now with my additional portal, I will try to get into this spot a little bit better, like this. So I deliver it, and then I turn it up, so like this, you see? Then I advance. Okay, then I come into the meniscus body. Like this. Okay. I'm going to place one further anterior and I'm going to demonstrate how to bend this. Here's my orange fast fix. Can, I can bend this and get about 20 degrees. If I want to, I can bend it further. Uh, but I don't want to in this particular case. If it's really anterior of a tear, then maybe you want to go to 40 degrees. I want to avoid tear propagation. Uh, tear propagation is real. It will happen. So I think you need to make sure you go to the extents of the tear. I'm going to go in the capsule first. Boom. Advance my T. Come back out. Go into the meniscus. Advance it second T and then then I take my Novo cut and uh, I'm just going to take the slack out no no need to over tension this in fact don't try not to over tension it just take the slack out that's all this looks a little bit more anatomic but in real life there's no water in the joint nothing is going to be pushing up and the joint the femur and the tibia are close together the meniscus is naturally in between so you don't necessarily have to do this in every case I'm going to demonstrate it here but the risk you're running, if you place a suture too close to the uh, central part, you will create a radial split. Here I use the pink fast fix, which is, uh, has the same curvature as the orange one, um, but the bevel goes the other way. So this is designed for the undersurface. So I go under the meniscus. My plan here is going to be using a horizontal mattress type of configuration. So I go into the meniscus like so and then I go horizontal mattress like that and then I take my Novo cut I load up my suture I come on in very good and then I can pull this slack out and as I pull the slack out I naturally pull the meniscus a little bit more into an anatomic position. That's it, and so now your curvature is gone. Again, I would tread lightly with this maneuver. Do not create a radial split. This is a nice classic vertical mattress medial meniscus repair. Now that I have shown you the first method of the more traditional vertical mattress stitch, I will show you next a different way in which we use a saclage or hay bale suture. So we have a vertical split tear of the medial meniscus in the red-white zone, uh, this here being white, and beyond the meniscus all the way over there, that being the red zone. So this is a red-white zone tear. So in a case like this where the um, central part doesn't have enough purchase for this fast fix, as you see, the fast fix would go through here and just go right through uh, the meniscus and then go into the joint, which you cannot do. Um, I perform a saclage suture. So I actually go underneath the meniscus and uh, do something that's maybe not quite as anatomic, but is a uh, saclage stitch in which you just go from the upper surface of the meniscus to the undersurface. 
people call it the hay barrel or the seclage or the panini. And then I use my Novo cut here. I uh, introduce the suture into the uh, cutting device. Then I use it as a knot pusher. I go down onto my knot, take the slack out of the sutures, but don't over tighten it. Just about this much. That's, that's, a, that's all I need here. And then come down with a cutting device and cut. Now, if you over tighten this, you will rip through the uh, meniscus there. So do not over tighten it. But this can repeat, be repeated here in the same fashion. So again, use the slider to kind of deliver your fast fix in the desired spot. The distance here is between five and 10 millimeters between the two fast fixes. And then, uh, same idea here. So this is a second suture. I'm going to go in. And again, you just take the slack out and that's it. And then maybe a third suture in this particular case, coming through the opposite portal, through the intermediate portal. I use the uh, slider to deliver my needle of the fast fix. There you go. Pull that out. Advance. And then I will do an additional cyclage here. There you go. And then slide that down. Perfect. And then you can repeat that. So, and this will be your repair. For rehabilitation, my preference is for vertical mattress repairs, about four weeks with crutches and protected weight bearing. And my preference for the circular suture is about two weeks of protected weight bearing with crutches.